Hello everyone, I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to my new sermon. And I said that last time that you, the curse is, is caused by different ways, especially when people speak evil against us. That's why we say well, we shall be, we shall guard our mouths, so especially when we speak to children, when we speak to people, because the power of, of death and is in our tongue. The power of death and life is in our tongues. Whatever we speak to people, so we must we we must learn to speak life to people instead of speaking curses and curse them. Speak life so that so this is something about that. Another thing about it is about when. We do things that God say we shall not do, like when Adam ate the fruit that God say that you shall not eat, and Adam did. Get, the whole world was cursed because of that. And so we continue with our topic today, and I say that there is a lot of things that God says that we shall not do, because if we do those things, we shall be cursed. I, there is a lot, a lot of things, but these are just some of them. In like in Jeremiah chapter seventeen, verse. In Jeremiah chapter seventeen, verse five, the Bible says this. The Bible says this. Jeremiah, I, the Lord, have put a cross on those who turn from me and he trust in human strength. This is what the Lord says. The curse is the one who trusts in man, who depends on flesh for his strength and whose heart turns away from the Lord. High will be like a bush in the wasteland. He will not see prosperity when it comes. He will dwell in the parched places of the sight, in the salt where no one lives. Lord was speaking about the causes that he cause is someone who trust put his trust in the man but in his heart he has left the lord his heart that turn away from god his heart is not you understand he is despising god despising the words of god despising what god is asking telling him what to do this person is cursed and sometimes when we create problems in our lives and we don't know why we create problems in our lives because when we put our trust in human in the flesh in creation instead of putting our trust in the creator we understand and this is something allowed god hates this kind of sin idolatry the sin of idolatry is the worst thing God hates so much because our God is loving us. He is loving us to the point that he is jealous on us and he is burning with jealous for us. And when we will make God jealous, this he causes his pain. You know, this is what happened that you can be cursed. So when God is only when you are working together with God and you, you turn away from him, when you despise what he say and you try put your trust to you say that I just depend on someone else who will help me. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So um the sin of idolatry. These days, we know that there are some people, they have left God. They think it's better to go, they think it's better to go and worship idols. They turn away from God. They bow down to the idols. They worship creations. Some people, they can say that they worship the nature. They worship things like, uh, and there are some people really worship the devil. Do you know who devil is? Devil is the devil is the enemy of God. 
He therefore is living in heaven together with the angels. And he saw because of his proud, he started to he started to deceive other angels. He became opposition of God in heaven. And when he became the opposition of God, he started to oppose God. And he deceived some other angels. And this devil, after when he deceived the other angels in heaven, then they made a war at end with God. The war, the, the, the army of God, uh, the army of the devil. The devil become like God in heaven. God hate the devil so much. And um, when people are turning off, this is why when, he, when the devil was able to deceive Adam, Ad, God was very, very angry. You understand? Because he, Adam, instead of listening to what God has told him, he went to listen to the devil. And we see that today people, they are rejecting God, but they are worshipping the devil. People have decided to sell their souls to the devil, to worship the devil. Imagine how much we make, how much we make God angry. When God says that he don't do this, some people have decided to say that, no, you can just do God has nothing to say about it. You understand? Because, and the people have forgotten that God is becoming angry when they do what they are doing. They decided to listen to those people instead of listening to God. Maybe I should ask someone a question. Or you or anyone. May God help you to understand this. Whoever who is listening right now. What would you feel when somebody come and tell your child, your father, your mother is bad, your mother and father is dumb, don't listen to that person, don't listen to your mother, don't listen to your father, he's stupid, he's bad. What would you feel, what kind of feelings will you have in your body? This is exactly how God feels. When God says that you don't do this, and we do, because we think that God has nothing to tell us in our lives. Who do you think you are? May God, my prayer is that God give directions guidelines to our people to understand this what i'm talking about you a child of god may god help you may god have mercy on us because now we have come into the point that We have decided to even to create our own images and we think that they have better understanding than God. Hallelujah. May God, may praise the living God. He is good. He will always be good. So, because it's the one thing he says that whatever that man saw, because the Bible says that God can't be mocked. Whatever man saw is exactly what they did. So sometimes we think that by doing that, we are doing something good and we are cool enough to think. But the truth is, we are building our own ditch that we bury ourselves in it because whatever man saw this is exactly what you reap in Deuteronomy chapter 27 verse 15 to 26 cursed is a man who carves an image or cast an idol 
all things this they, they testable to the Lord. The work of Christmas hand and set it up in the secret. Then all the people shall say Amen. There is a lot of curses I'm going to read here, but today I'm concentrating with this the the sin of idolatry that God is hating so much. Idolatry. People cre to create image. That's why we just trying to warn people when is they stay away from all kinds of if you want God to intervene in your life, if you wanted to have the to get the fullness of God, stay away from all kinds of idols. Those kinds of religions, Buddhism, um they are worship they are not worshipping a true God. They are worshipping idols. Buddhism, Bo Buddhas is what they call, Hinduism, they are worshipping the devil, they are not worshipping God. We are going to talk about this even in the future. I'm not insulting them, but I'm just trying to say, I'm trying to warn people about them, about it. Worship God in spirit and in truth and ask him for help and the guidance and the wisdom. Follow his words. These are the things you need to do if you want to prosper. If God is cursing you today, it means that your generation also will be cursed because of you. That means that you are bringing the, the curse to your family. And now you come to the point. This is why when people are going into to, when people are, you have problems. And when you go to a prayer meeting, sometimes the, the Holy Spirit can reveal that this person is under the gener, in generational causes. So, so these are the things. But if you don't know that, you will suffer. You will suffer. You understand? We are going to talk about this even more in the future. God is very serious about the sin of idolatry. Very serious about the sin of idolatry. I have been speaking a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I continue to make things of many things. Father God, thank you so much. I pray for this person who listens to understand what I'm talking about. In the name of Jesus Christ, he touches their hearts so they can learn from you more and reveal more in Jesus' name. 